Hey y'all, today we got Aunt Lou back in the kitchen and we're gonna show you an amazing low carb barbecue sauce that is out of this world. All oh, while well, having a whole lot of fun. Hi, welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy. And Aunt Lou. And today we're gonna show you a real quick and easy way to make your own low carb barbecue sauce. You see, in this house, we have decided to go low carb. That's how I'm starting to get more of a manly figure than an apple figure. Mm -hmm. And so the way we're doing that is we're doing some low carb stuff. Now, a lot of people say, and I know I was one of them peoples that said, you know what? Eat low carbs like eating cardboard and, mm -hmm. and rubber and, and shoelaces. And it's really not. I love food a lot, a whole lot, lot. But I've learned through the wisdom of my wife, men, if you're listening, it's okay to learn from the wisdom of your wives that you can eat some really, really good food that's low carb that still tastes amazing and you can enjoy it. And honestly, there's a lot of stuff I really don't even miss anymore, including regular barbecue sauce. I'm a ribs guy. I'm mm -hmm. a barbecue chicken kind of guy. And I like me some good barbecue sauce. And no one, we were going low carb. I knew that was one of the things that we were going to have to cut out. Mm -hmm. But my wife, who loves me, she says, you know, I think I can find a way of making a good barbecue sauce or finding a good barbecue sauce so that we can have, still have the ribs with barbecue sauce or the chicken or what have you. So she bought a couple of barbecue sauces and guess what? <laughs> they weren't that good. They had a wang to them. That's the best mm -hmm. way I can explain it. So I didn't care for them. So Chris went into the kitchen and she did some testing and the other day she came up with an amazing easy barbecue sauce anybody can do. Cool. It's <laughs> truly. So we're going to show you how to make it. What you need are oh, the... Wait. Yes? They should know that even though you guys are doing low carb, I am deemed the carb queen around here. The carb, that's right. She is I, the carb queen, I love the sugar queen. My carbs. I love my sugar, and yes, I know it's it's all in moderation. But they they go low carb, and so you know I starve um, when I come to their house if I don't eat low carb. So starves, <laughs> just starves. And so we are trying out. They're letting me try out some of their low carb stuff too. So this is going. We're going to see if this low carb barbecue sauce can pass the test of the carb queen. She's our guinea pig. <laughs> the sugar princess is going mm. to be here completely I like that to better. be tested on. Sugar princess. I thought you would. That's me. Here's what you need for the following ingredients of this wonderful out of this world must have barbecue sauce. You need one half cup of water. You need one half cup of low sugar ketchup. Mm -hmm. Now again, if you don't want to do low carb, use regular ketchup. And we're going to show you some other ingredients that are low carb. You don't have to. But if you want to go low carb, this is a good way to do it. Mm -hmm. So you got your half cup of your ketchup, which is the low sugar again. Mm -hmm. uh, you also want two tablespoons of white vinegar. You want table two tablespoons of Worcestershire. We call it Shire sauce around here. Liam Perrins, you know what we're talking about. <laughs> you want two tablespoons of a brown sugar substitute. We use a stuff called Sucre and Gold. That's what we're using around here. There's many other types of it. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll give you a link below where you can find it. But to me, it tastes like brown sugar. And then you want one tablespoon of cumin. That is going to give you your smoky flavor in the barbecue sauce. Then you want one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and one teaspoon of salt. Kosher, sea, what have you. I'm using just regular salt for today. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my wet stuff in here. I have just a little hot plate so that you're not seeing my hiney behind me. <laughs> and uh, You can write thank you in the comments yeah, down below. Thank you for not showing your hiney, Mikey. <laughs> I show it all the time. Uh, the people at the grocery store cannot yeah, say thank you for they, not showing your hiney. I've been kicked out twice. <laughs> so, you got a pot. You're going to take your wet stuff. Put in your water. Holy crap. Now, if you'll notice with that, <gasps> I've had this heat pad on for a while just so I can watch that happen. Are you serious? <laughs> I've been Turkey. planning this all day. So go ahead. Go ahead. Ready? 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 Perfect. Simple as that. Well, don't we need more water Magic. since it... Oh, gosh, no. Now, let's go ahead and do our vinegar, all these other wets first. Okay. So your two tablespoons of vinegar two tablespoons of your Shire sauce, sure, sure, sure. and then we'll go to our ketchup, which I use with a spoon. Take that and pop it right in there. Take that. Take that! Hmm. And right. that's good stuff. That ketchup is vinegary, a lot more vinegary than regular ketchup, so it's something to kind of get used to. 
I kind of like it. Okay, so now your brown sugar right in there. We'll mix that in. And then your cumin. Hey, thanks for cumin over. And now your <laughs> you onion don't say that to powder. Me and then oh. your garlic powder. Sorry, I switched those. I grabbed the wrong one. And then your salt. Salt. And that's it. Now all we're going to do is, ooh, is splash ooh. it everywhere. Wow, you'll clean that up I'll later? I'll clean that up later. I'm going to turn this down just a hair. Because what you do want to do is just bring this up to a simmer. All you're going to do now turn it is just a make... Bit so you can get that seasoning down in there. There's a who? The seasoning that's on the spoon. There we go. All you want to do now is make a reduction. A reduction means you're just taking the water out of it. You put the water in there. That way things mix up a little bit better. Get stirred in a little easier. And then we're going to kind of simmer the water out of it. Mm -hmm. Crank her up just a hair. Mm -hmm. So for the next 10 minutes, we're just going to stand here and watch my and stir. Do you think he'll do it right? Are you bored yet? I know what we can do. What? I will take 10 minutes and tell you the world's longest joke. Are you ready? No. Oh, here we go. It goes like this. Once upon a time, there was a... <laughs> and then the waiter says... <laughs> That's not my monkey! That's my brother! <laughs> it's the best joke in the world. But no, 10 minutes not. has gone by, constant stirring, and as you can see through the top of the camera right there, that that has reduced down. It's thickened up into a sauce. One way you can know that is when you do that, and it doesn't run all the way off, and you can run your finger through it. Straight line. Let me try that again. If we do this, that's really hard. I was going to say, that watch is this. like... Watch this. See that? See that right there? There's a gap. Hmm. Oh. And it's still hot. So, now we're going to give the taste test. I'll warn you and let you know. It's this hot? Is a vin it, one, is hot. <laughs> Two, this is a vinegar-based mm -hmm. barbecue sauce. So, naturally, it's going to be a little more sour than it is sweet. But that's what okay. the, the uh, brown sugar in there is for. Right. And also there's a little bit of sweetness from the Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire. which is where you're pretty much your only carbs are coming from. And when you spread two tablespoons out into a whole the bunch batch. of barbecue sauce, you're not getting a lot. So just, just kind of... I'm not letting you hold that. Go ahead and lick that spoon. I want to see what happens. I'm not going to lick. See what you think. That's really good. Uh-huh. Mm. It's tomatoey. It's think a think little it's smoky sour. from the cumin. You get you get a little sour at the beginning. I, I was expecting to kind of like kind of have that you know in your tongue like whenever sour touches and it kind of like like we eat a warhead. Yeah, yeah. And you're like oh, like yeah. that's what I was expecting and not at all. Nope, it's it starts out you, you taste the sour, but to me if the sour goes away and you you start to taste the flavors of the sweet. You you taste the, the Shire sauce, mm -hmm. the cumin for sure. It's got that really smoky flavor. So and I have seriously never had this before. Like I, that's like two I or was, three minutes prep time. Mm-hmm and 10 minutes and you've got sauce. There's enough sauce, I'd say there for, oh, I don't know, maybe a batch of chicken? Chicken wings? So chicken or chicken wings, legs. Like chicken legs. legs, ribs, mm -hmm. anything that you would put barbecue sauce on. We've whipped that up for you and the next video that we're gonna do, we're actually gonna put this sauce into action. So if y'all like what you saw and you like the little carb stuff, hang around. There's gonna be more. Also, if you would, if you like what you're seeing here, give us a thumbs up. Also, if you have not become a member of the Croc Posse, I don't know what y'all are waiting for. Become Join a member us. of this growing family by clicking subscribe down below. If y'all want to be a part of the Croc Posse, which you should be, we're a growing family, we're having a good time with it, just click subscribe down below. If you want to see the latest videos that we do, make sure and click that little bell next to the subscribe button. And also, whatever you do, keep watching, and we'll keep cooking. And all will be well. Bye, y'all. You can't even see my pupils. <laughs> the light's so bright. Not yet. Stand by. We don't have time for education. Filming a YouTube video.